At this point, we know how to connect to a Linux server, some rudimentary commands. We can edit, compile, and run C++ programs on the machine. In reality, what happens, you usually are developing on your laptop and the server is your target machine, for example. In this video, we're gonna look at how we can write C++ programs on our laptop and then transfer them to the server so we can compile and run them and test them there. I'm gonna use Xcode, not a tutorial on Xcode, just to show you how to write a simple C++ program. I wanna create a new project. I am going to create a Mac OS project and a new command line tool. The name of my product is going to be Pizza. My organization is Georgetown University and I want to create a C++ program. Hit next and I'm going to put it into this bridge directory. Here is where I create my program. The default name is main.cpp. I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. I'm gonna take a quick pause and insert the code that I wrote for calculating my pizza ingredients. Here's the program we had before. Now on using Xcode, I can compile and run or build and run uh, this program by clicking the play button. You can see that the build succeeded and now it's gonna run my program. How many pizzas do I wanna make? I'll type three and you can see the output here. Once I've successfully implemented and tested my software on my laptop, I'm ready to transfer it to the server and run it over there. The first thing I need to do is I need to find the location of main.cpp. To do that, I'm gonna use the terminal. And remember that I put it in bridge, and here is the directory containing my Xcode project. So I descend into that directory. And now there are two directories. I just happen to know that it's also in the pizza directory. And indeed, there is main.cpp. I can confirm this by looking at, by using VI to look at the contents of the file. Now, if you're using a Macintosh and you've installed the command line tools for Xcode, you can compile this program here, just like we did on the server. Notice that I have the executable a.out, and then I can run this program on the command line. Now what I want to do is I want to transfer this C++ program to my Linux server. I'm going to do it from the command line first. There are two tools. One is called SFTP, which is Secure File Transfer Program. The other is SCP, which is Secure Copy. I can use either one of these to transfer files to and from my laptop and the Linux server. Let's do SFTP first. With SFTP, you maintain a persistent connection with the server. To use it, I say SFTP, my username, the machine name, and then the domain name. I typed in the machine name incorrectly. It should be class dash one. You will be prompted for your password. I have my account set up so that I don't have to enter a password, but I am now connected to class one. There's help. This tells you the commands that you can use and keep in mind that there's this notion of the local machine, which is your laptop and the remote machine, which is the server. And so you can see local working directory, remote directory, and things of that nature. So if I do a listing, I'm seeing the files on the server, and you should recognize these from the previous videos as being the files. Now, if I want to transfer, if I look at my local files, you can see main.cpp. Now to transfer or upload a file, I can use put. So I am going to put main.cpp and notice that it uploaded it. 
if I look at the files on the server, you'll see that main.cpp is now there. I can also transfer files from the server to my local machine. Remember that I had homework one, so I can descend into homework one directory, look at the files, and now I can say get homework1.txt. That now transferred homework one to my laptop. I can look at the local files on my laptop by using LLS, local listing, and there's the file I just transferred. Now I can quit and I'm back to my laptop. Here's homework1.txt. Here is main.cpp. To use S copy, secure copy, I just use it like a regular copy command and it automatically transfers. So if I want to copy main.cpp, I can copy it to the other machine by simply saying, my user ID and the class name, and then I have to give it a directory. The directory I want to transfer it to is the top level directory. I could also transfer it into homework one if I wanted to by adding homework one, but let's transfer it to the top level directory. And that copies main.cpp. I can also copy files from the machine to my laptop identify the file on the machine first and then set its destination. I'm using the dot, so that is going to be the current directory. And now that transfers it back. And if you look at the long listing, you'll see that that happened at 1224. So I overwrote the earlier file. Now what I want to do is I want to connect to my Linux server and compile main.cpp on the server. I can use SSH to connect. Again, I have passwordless login set up. Here is main.cpp and now I can compile that using G++ and I can run it. If I make changes to this copy, on the server, I need to transfer that file back to my laptop so I'll have a copy of those changes locally. Or you can just make the changes in Xcode, depending on how substantial the changes are. There are also mouse-driven clients for doing file transfers. One is called FileZilla. So I want to download a FileZilla client. It detects that I am run and that I am connecting from Mac OS. So now I can download the client. I am just going to use the free version. Now I can install this by dragging it into the applications folder. Here's the applications folder, and now I can drag FileZilla into applications. Okay, I have navigated using FileZilla to the folder that contains the C++ program that I want to transfer to the Linux server. Now what I need to do is I need to type in the host name type in my username, give it my password, and then I can hit connect. I successfully connected to my Linux server. And now to transfer main.cpp, I can simply just click, click and drag to my destination. Since I previously transferred main.cpp to the server, it is now asking me what action I wanna take I will just overwrite it. And of course you can transfer files back to your laptop in the same fashion. So if I want to transfer file.txt, I can simply click and drag and it will copy it over. So this is how you use FileZilla to transfer files to and from your laptop 
and a Linux server. 